Nah, man, this is a UL amulet. It's a vape watch. going on guys lazy tony vapes here back at central cloud vapors hq in daily city california hello how are you and i've got my little buddy here he says hi say hi everyone <laughs> yeah so guys this is the you will amulet at first glance it does look like your regular run-of-the-mill digital watch and not only has the time in both 24 and 12 hour displays but you can also look at the date and that's as far as the watch aspect goes. There's a little button on the side here, which allows you to click it out and voila, you have a little pod system here. So there's no button. Uh, you just pull on it. You salt Nick. And I've got to tell you guys, I've been using this for the past two, three, almost a month now. And I am really impressed with not only the battery life on this, but also the flavor with the coil has lasted throughout. And I use it daily. It's not just a once in a lifetime, once in a while kind of vape product that I use. It's a daily use for me. Now in the packaging, you are of course going to get the amulet itself. You're gonna get the wrist strap, which makes it the watch. And then you will have an extra 1.6 ohm coil uh, in addition to the one that comes preset in the pod. And you can actually fill your own e-liquid that you want, which is really nice because we have all of these. I've been using mango for the past few weeks and I gotta tell you, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of Salt Nick. Now I, I kinda like Salt Nick. In any event, it's very easy to get to. You just pry it out. There's a little plunger here, just a little plug. You open it up and then you just put your e-liquid in there and then you're done. Fundamentally speaking, that's it. There's no like gauging, there's no airflow control, no nothing of that. As I said, battery life is very good. The flavor ratio uh, with the coil is very good and very long lasting. Were there any problems with this? Yeah, there were a few. And it really comes down to how this is physically made. It's all plastic and what happens with plastic? It starts to break, especially when you're utilizing a part that can be snapped every single day. And what part is that? It's actually the part where it's underneath the micro USB plug because that is where the clasp in the watch band is. And over time, as you're snapping this back in and prying it back out and snapping it back in, there's a tiny little plastic piece and it just, it got, it got weak and weak and it broke. Other than that though, cosmetically speaking, there was another little plastic piece that broke off and that was due to um, a droppage that we won't talk about, but it still works, it still functions. No one, no one ever notices. It's not like the end of the world, but people will notice this. And that's one thing. I realize that vaping isn't the thing to have that cool in your pocket or the cool thing that's on your wrist, but the convenience of this and the uniqueness of this, I hate to admit it, but it is kind of cool. It's kind of nice. It's definitely very convenient, very nice to have. You're getting what you put in, and as long as you have that expectation, I think you're gonna have a really good experience with the amulet. So let us know what you guys think. Put your comments, your questions in the section down below. Links as always can be found in the description below. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook, or at least me specifically on Instagram and here on YouTube, Lazy Tony Vapes. We'll see you guys in the next one. Late. So they don't actually carry this here. Um, so in the meantime, if you wanna see this up front and personal and closer, that's not a word. Uh,